So Ariel Helwani just had Tracy Cortez on the MMA Hour, and honestly, it was a pretty decent podcast. I really, really enjoyed listening to it. I like Ariel Helwani's stuff, despite, like, I, I, it's, it's a little bit controversial on whether or not Ariel Helwani is on the side of the fighters, and I understand why everybody is really hating on him, but regardless of, like, who Ariel Helwani is, I'm not here to talk about that today, because people, when they make videos about Ariel Helwani, they typically dive into that stuff of him, like, instigating fighters or using fighters and stuff like that. Regardless... I am always somebody who puts the creator or the artist aside from the artwork and stuff like that. I listen to Ariel Hawani's show quite frequently. I think it's very well done. I've always enjoyed it. And I enjoyed listening to Tracy Cortez on Ariel Hawani's show. But there's something that was happening and something that was said in the Tracy Cortez interview that I just like, I was sitting there and I was like, hmm. And I would legitimately, the whole point of me making this video is I want to know from you guys and what you think about this. So hear, hear me out. I'm going to react to something that Tracy Cortez said about Ariel Hawani and her talking about her fans. I don't know. She might be delusional, man. She might be. So again, here, I'll react to it. And I'd love to know your take down below because, again, that's the whole point of making this video. We're going to get into it a minute in. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Kyle. I'm your guy with too many YouTube channels. Let's watch a video. What I do read the most is on is on um, Instagram. Okay. And is it is it fairly it's positive? Oh, my God. Everything. Every, my fans are incredible. My fans are incredible. If you look at the comment section... <laughs> there's gonna be a troll or two guys like this is where i'm stuck man because does she think that she has all these followers on instagram because like people really respect her fighting ability and don't get me wrong before you hear before you shoot me in the head okay she her last performance was fantastic i didn't think anything of her until her last performance and now i'm like oh my god maybe i was wrong about tracy cortez maybe she isn't just a wrestler because quite frankly i have very very high respect for jasmine jastavacius as a fighter so tracy cortez with what she did it was an amazing performance and now she is on my radar but i'm talking before this I'm talking before this because nobody really followed Tracy Cortez because of her fighting style. So <laughs> we all know why people follow Tracy Cortez, you know, <laughs> I, I don't know if she believes this. This is the question I want to know. Like, let's keep listening to it. Well, for the most part, everyone is so like so supportive. Can I, can I ask it's you about that? Because I feel, correct me if I'm wrong, I feel like this like today or this weekend when you fought – you are infinitely more popular than the last time we saw you. And she didn't even really fight then, too. That's the thing. What has changed in the last year plus? What Brian Ortega. <laughs> She's single. <laughs> but what's the difference? I don't know. Do you agree I, with that statement? I, I would agree, yeah. What's changed? I See, okay, like, I want to rewind that for a second because I want to, and I don't want to, like, sit here and, like, really, really analyze what's going on with somebody's face, you know what I mean? But, like, that Wait, smile that. is almost like I kind of know. I know why. Like, she's got to know, man. She either knows and is just playing really, really innocent or, like, she is the most delusional person of all time, you know? Like, and <laughs> it's tough, man, because I wholeheartedly believe some of these – I'm not calling her an Instagram model. She is a very accomplished fighter, and I have a huge amount of respect for her. I need you guys to understand that. But, like, I wouldn't put it past the people on Instagram to really just, oh, people love me for me. People care about what I have to say. You know what I mean? So I don't know if she knows, man. Man. I, <laughs> I would agree, yeah. What's changed? I don't know, you know. I just I, – I'm not doing nothing different. I'm just a me. I'm a – I don't know. I don't know what it, I don't know what it is. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> also during that period you haven't fought, so it's not like you've been on TV uh -huh. every 4 or 5 months, but yet it feels like you have fought the last, you know, 3 4 months and you're like compared to the fight in Phoenix of May of 2022, it feels like a totally different connection that you have with the MMA fans. Uh, yeah, 100%. She's way more popular. And I, 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 am I wrong in assuming that's just because of Instagram? Because to be honest with you, I never really followed her. Like, I know of Tracy Cortez, but I never really, like, paid attention to anything she was doing except when she was in the octagon. So I don't know. Like, like uh, now, like, I've seen her Instagram and stuff, but I haven't at, at the time. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, 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 I can't, I can't really pinpoint what it is or what. I just know this year alone, fans have just really connected with me. Mm. That's the thing that I was talking about. Like, I have a hard time believing, like, anybody, like, aside from what she just did in her last performance, because now she has a fan base. She just, like, had – I'm not saying she didn't have a fan base, but I mean, like, she has a fan base that could actually, like, really, really care about her as a fighter. But, like – 
who what connection was she building before? You know? <laughs> like who was really talking about Tracy Cortez except like on a list when you want to talk about like, oh, so we have Pollyanna Viana, you got Paige Van Zant, you've got Valerie Loretta. Oh yeah, and Tracy Cortez is there too. Like, I feel like it's the only time where she really came up in conversation. And now Thankfully, like, that's awesome for her. Again, like, I am not hating on her. I just, I, I, I'm legitimately curious what you guys think about this. Really connected with me. The, the, the amount of messages I get, it's just super inspiring, super heartfelt. I can just imagine those messages. <laughs> I can just imagine those messages. Those SIMPs coming in the Instagram DMs being like, wow, Tracy Cortez, Miss Cortez, your last performance really inspired me. Like, I just love the way that you be you, you know? I, I really respect that. You own it. You're like a... I, I just really, really have respect to you. And will... Uh, would you ever consider going on a date with me? You know what I mean? Like, obviously, that's what they're getting at. But, like, no... Like, there's only one connection that people are looking for, man. It's It's been... Incredible, to say the least. I, I, I don't know what it is. I honestly don't know what it is. But... I think I know what it is. <laughs> yeah, I, I I do know what you're saying. I know who to blame for this, by the way. Oh yeah, Paulo Costa. It's all. And this is where it ended up being really funny, but I'm not going to react to the entire thing. So guys, honestly, go check out Ariel Hawani's interview because they start talking about Paulo Costa, and it actually ends up being really funny. So like the interview was really really good. It was just this one part that I wanted to make a video about. But yeah, guys, I have no idea what it could possibly be. Like I don't know. Like it's just like somehow like you look at her and then you just all of a sudden just feel like some sort of connection to her. You know what I mean? Like this. No, this just makes me like I absolutely want to send a DM just completely out of respect. You know what I mean? Like I don't know what what people could possibly be looking at here. I have I have no idea why people are more interested in her as the time goes on as as we see her post and now she's on tiktok i guess too so there you go like at the mma community they've always been down bad and i'm not saying it's like really wrong i'm just like i, I think it's crazy the people that are dming her you know what i mean but she's gotta know man she's gotta know and it's not like there's anything crazy it's not like this is Paige van zandt's instagram you know what i mean she's like posting some legitimate stuff along i i just think the thing is like she just looks good you know what i mean so like she, but at the same time, she's got to know what she's doing. And I don't know if she's actually just <laughs> – if she doesn't know, man, she's just delusional. But then again, like the more you look at this, it's like these are regular fight photos. So I, I, she might not know it, man. She might just be posting because like there's not like a ton of thirst traps on here. You know what I mean? There's some regular posts. Like, you get this every once in a while, but I feel like most girls post that type of stuff, you know? To be honest with you guys, I was planning on making this video like a couple minutes. Just the reaction, I wanted to ask a question. So, is <laughs> Tracy Cortez. How do you think she's been getting her fans? Regardless, I have a huge amount of respect for what she's doing. I know she's been traveling from gym to gym. I know that she is putting in the work, and it was very evident in her last fight. I actually bet against her in her last fight. She really, really shined with the performance. So, I'm, I, I'm legitimately just making this video because I'm curious as to what you guys think. Because I don't really know. I don't know if she knows why her fan base is growing so much but regardless it's very nice to see that the fan base is growing and it's going to grow properly especially after with this UFC Nosh card because she's somebody who can relate to the Mexican people and that's something that is really really cool to see it was really cool to see the crowd come around her and everybody getting in really into it you know what I mean so now she can have all of this like the the it's better to have a fan base of your people instead of a, a fan base of just SIMPs you know what I mean so I, 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 hopefully she's on the upswing. Hopefully she's on the upswing. She's doing very well for herself. This is not a hate video at all. I just want to know what you guys think. Does Tracy Cortez know what she's doing? Does she know why that everybody has this connection with her that she says? So let me know down below. And thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you'd like to continue watching the Clembat channel, there'll be two videos on screen for you right here. Check them out. I will see you either there or in the next video, guys. Take care.